Good morning, and welcome to the first edition of the Shorter Update. I'm Andrew Edenfield, and joining me this year as co-host is Miss Macy Jo Roberts. That's right, and we'll be here each week to bring you up to date on what's going on around campus, just in case you missed it. We would first like to take this opportunity to thank Mr. LaHue and his for all of his hard work in setting up our new studio, and Dr. Dana Hall and Dr. Sabrina Parton for all of their support. Now, we would like to welcome the class of 2016 and say congratulations to the class of 2012-2013 for all of your hard work and dedication. So let's get started. All right, are you ready? Here is your shorter news. First up, the Office of Financial Aid wants you to know if you are interested in a work-study position, available jobs are posted online through Scholar, as well as the bulletin board outside of the Financial Aid Office. Jobs go quickly, so if you see something of interest, apply now. Also, if you are still in need of money, scholarships are regularly posted on the bulletin board outside of the office as well. The Office of Student Success wants everyone to know if you are interested in receiving tutoring for classes, you, just, you should just stop by the Baylor Suite, which is located in Sheffield Thompson, room 217, or contact the Tutoring Center Coordinator at tutoring at shorter.edu. You can also sign up for a tutoring session by simply logging on to Moodle and clicking the Starfish link on the right-hand side of the page. Last but not least, the Writing Center is also available if you need help with your papers. They are located in room 201 of the Sheffield Thompson Building. Walk-ins and appointments are welcome. Now, let's go to Macy Joe and see what's popping on the hill. If you don't already know, this week is Homecoming Week. The Office of Student Life and Fit and Activities Board has a week of events lined up for you to enjoy. Things kick off tomorrow, Wednesday, September 19th, with the Shorter Fest Talent Show, which will debut in the Brooks Chapel at 9 p.m. This is a great opportunity to see your fellow classmates showcase their talents and for you to win some awesome door prizes. Also beginning tomorrow, the 19th, and Thursday, the 20th, you can stop by the CAF from 11 to 1 and FSU from 1 to 3 to vote for your 2012 Homecoming King and Queen. On Thursday, September 20th, from 12 to 4 p.m., FAB will be sponsoring Hillfest outside of FSU. Come join us, grab some free food, and enjoy some fun activities. Friday, September 21st, at 9 p.m., will be our homecoming pep rally held in the front circle. Come cheer on the football team as they prepare to beat Charleston Southern University. This is also your chance to meet your homecoming corps and find out the winner of the banner competition and to pick up your free homecoming t-shirts. On Saturday, September 22nd at Barron Stadium, your homecoming king and queen will be announced at halftime. Finally, if you would like to attend Shorter Night at Turner Field on Tuesday, September 25th, tickets are only $10 and can be purchased from any FAB member or in the Office of Student Life. For more information, please contact the Office of Student Life at studentlife at shorter.edu or fab at fab at shorter.edu. Hey Andrew, what's going on in the arts? Let's find out, Macy. I've been told that if you're interested in sculptural exhibits, artist Glenn Dasher wants to invite you to experience his exhibit that is on display now through October 4th in the Arnold Arts Art Gallery. Also, the theater department is in preparation for their first production of the year, the play Ruby Sunrise. Let's take a look at how the cast and crew are heading into those preparations. And this play I've wanted to do for a few years. I thought it'd be a nice, uh, it's a, it's a seven person play, seven characters. And I thought it's a nice, uh, nice ensemble. Uh, and again, this idea of kind of the, what it's about. I mean, the main thing is about is the invention of the television and the race to invent the television in 1927 uh, by, by a girl named Ruby. It's a different role that I've used, than I usually play, because usually I'm more of the young, bright, ingenue type, and she's not like that. She's a little more tomboyish and a little more harsh. So I love that it's a new challenge, and she's a great character to play. It's just an entirely new process. I think one of the great things about it is that it is set in two different times, and so it really gives you almost two entirely different plays that kind of come together as one, and so it's... It's just the play in and of itself is just a great, unique play that is something I don't think a lot of people around here have seen. I love the play. Um, it's definitely about um, persistence, um, going after your dreams, 
doing what you want to do even when there's people against you. So I'm um, very excited. It's a great show. It has something for everybody. I mean, it'll touch your heart. It'll make you think. It'll make you laugh. I'm cracking up watching parts of it. I'm watching the other actors cracking up in the audience. It's, it's just a great show. Thanks, guys. Ruby Sunrise will debut in the Callaway Theater on October 2nd through the 6th at 7.30 nightly. For more information on tickets, contact the box office at boxoffice at shorter.edu or stop by the Ledbetter School of Business located across the street. Here's what's going on in Hoth Hoth Hawks Athletics. On the women's side, the volleyball team will have their first home game tonight, Tuesday, September 18th at 6.30 p.m. in the Winthrop King Center against Piedmont College. They will then host Gulf South Conference opponent, the University of West Alabama, this Friday, September 21st at 7 p.m. The women's soccer team will go on the road to face the University of Alabama Huntsville this Thursday, September 20th at 3 p.m. They will then return to Ben Beatty Field on Saturday, September 22nd to take on Union at 5 p.m. And now for the men. The men's soccer team will also travel to the University of Alabama at Huntsville this Thursday, September 20th, to take on the Chargers at 4.30 p.m. They will then return home to host Union here at Ben Brady Field on Saturday, September 22nd at 2 p.m. Also on Saturday, September 22nd, will be Shorter's first home football game of the season. The Hawk Walk will begin at 11.30 a.m. Immediately following will be the Hawk Pit, which offers fans the chance to have a little fun before kickoff at 1.30 p.m. We look forward to seeing everyone there. If you're interested in helping with the Hawk Pit, please contact Macy Joe at macyjoe.roberts at hawks.shorter.edu. We want to wish all of our Hawk athletes good luck in their upcoming games. Thanks for joining us for this edition of the Shorter Update. We hope you enjoyed Chapel and look forward to seeing you next week. I'm Andrew Edenfield alongside Macy Joe Roberts. Thanks again for joining us and if your club, organization, or department has any news that you would like featured on the update, please contact Mr. LaHue at mlahue at shorter.edu. We hope that you have a very blessed day. Stay classy, Shorter! shorter.